Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to some more Warhammer 3 Total War, the Old World mod, playing as the Ice Crown. And, uh, well, we're continuing pretty much right where we left off in the previous episode, with uh, the Zinch invaders from the north probably occupying another uh, Islamic province. But other than that, we should be relatively fine. I'm going to allow a military access with uh, the old Ungol Witch there. That's fine. Um... Now, are you really going to go and attack that settlement? I w alone. I I don't recommend it. Is what I'm saying. Well, feel free to try though. Mm, sorry. Okay. So, while succeeds the bone rattlers. see how long it succeeds for. Training complete for Malgorza Malgorzata Yelovic. Yelovic? Yelovic? I'm gonna go with Yelovic. <coughs> One mother, daughters of the forest. Diplomatic relations with them, plus 40. Okay. Um, good. Good. If you could somehow just ignore the hell pit in its entirety. If you could go that way. I know, I know, I know, I know. But listen, listen, listen. If you could go that way instead, eh? Fight the Skaven for me a little bit. You don't have to win. Just, just keep them entertained. Ooh, that would be... Chef's kiss, right? That would be beautiful. Amazing, even. <clears throat> Whether it's going to happen or not, we'll see, I guess. But uh, yeah, if we could finagle that. Okay, Boyar Assembly uh, Confederations. Boyar Assembly is now at minus 10. Q2. Baseline evaluation. Demon Slayer. Not gonna lie, that's not ideal. But tell you what, doesn't matter all that much either. Let's get to work over here. First and foremost, Fort Ostrok. That's not Ostrok. That's Fort Ostrosk. Ostrosk, right, yeah, Fort Ostrosk. Huge green skin army. Mostly poor quality troops, though. They have some stone trolls, which are pretty decent. They have regeneration, scaly skin. Squig heads, which is alright. And then, obviously, the Lord, which is level 1, so it's nothing. And then the garrison has orc boar boys and trolls. Again, nothing too spectacular. Our troops should be much better. We are going to fight this manually. I just want to check really quickly if there's any chance of getting... Uh, there's not. Okay. So why don't we hinder replenishment? No. No, that's not going to do, I'm afraid. All right. Let's just send the Patriarch over there. He's going to meet up with the army next turn. Um, and we have a... We have a date, right? <laughs> in, a, in, in a manner of speaking, we have a date with our enemies that way. Uh, Cheslav Bukowski is, I'm afraid, because the Zinch bastards are a bit persistent, is going to have to march this way to go and fight with the enemy. Um, demolishing this these buildings, I think, will... Will not do anything because uh, he's just going to occupy next turn, so forget about that. Although, I mean, I can try, right? There's nothing stopping me from trying. <clears throat> Maybe get a bit of money back. Wouldn't be the end of the world. Can this army beat the Lord on his own? Definitely, right? It's a level 1 Lord, definitely. Okay, and then this army is going to sprint in this general direction to try and backstab the orcs and take the river Linsk um, and, and have that province to ourselves. So, after all of that, um, I'm realizing that our money situation is 
a bit questionable. Um, but that's okay. I'm going to gain a little bit more from there. And then I think, as we mentioned previously, that Serena herself can go over in... Well, let's get you over in this general direction, and then we'll see where exactly you are needed. She does get the ice... Um, the sleds right now. What are they called? The ice court sleds. Yeah, she does get that now, and she that, that pretty much makes her one of the most powerful units. In Kislev, I think those things should be pretty darn amazing, if not a little bit bug-prone occasionally to the animations and stuff, but... I will forgive the uh, the game on that. It is a complex contraption, shall we say. So let's improve our economy a tiny bit more. The zinch corruption here is almost entirely gone, which is excellent. Um, we have information from Kemri. They are holding off relatively well. Uh, the dwarves are not, though. They are losing to the Legion of Chaos. And they are losing badly. Yikes. Okay, we're gonna need a new army. Not right now, probably next turn, but we're gonna need it. Before any of that can happen, we must do glory as the battle against the enemy at Fort Ostrosk. Two armies in total, some tough units, but it is a siege. And I think that gives me a big advantage over them because of my um, archers. I'll be able to use up most of the ammunition. If they sallied out and this was a field battle, I think we would be a lot better off. Um, oh, sorry, I think they would be a lot better off because they would be able to rush me across flat terrain. Like this, they're going to be stuck in these halls and narrow streets and stuff of the, of the fort trying to defend it. Um, overall, you know, not ideal for them. And I can use basically the, the, the full extent of my army's power here, including not limited to magics. Now, I have realized that I have two mages for this army. That's not a bad thing. But all I'm saying is, I might want to reconsider that for the future. Yeah? They're both going to get XP, they're both going to contribute to the winds of magic, they're both going to etc, etc. Yeah, all of that's good, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining that I, that I have that. It's just that maybe in the future I might want to reconsider it and do something about it. <laughs> okay, so... How should we go about doing this? Well, I think first and foremost, we need to stop here, move you out of the way. And in a matter of speaking, reconsider our positioning. Okay, that works pretty well. I have the Bitterness of Winter as an army power. And there you go, in one short volley, like two-thirds of a goblin unit are gone, so... Like I said, this is going to be a fun battle. As long as the AI allows me to abuse them a little bit more. Half the unit is gone, look at that. That's the power of Kislev magic. Power of friendship, is that? <laughs> Friendship with a bear deity is what it is. Hey, very important that we get the orc boar boys. As soon as this happens, uh, move everyone up by a tiny bit. That's the... is that the tower or is that the Orc Arrow Boys? That's the Orc Arrow Boys hitting us. That's okay, I'm just gonna dance around their uh, arrows and stuff. She is on horseback, which makes dodging even easier. 
and the range on the Kossars is fairly impressive compared to the Orcs, so... I mean, look at that, they're hitting there instead of... Yeah, I mean, that's... that's uh, that is impressive. Um, I apologise to people that don't like this sort of combat, that, that prefer it more uh, traditional, say, Rome Total War style combat, you know, where you don't abuse the AI like this, but... I don't get to do this that often, right? Oftentimes in field battles, you just charge the enemy head on, or they charge you head on, and that's it. Um, you don't get to mess around with them this often, and it's really fun when you do. So, yeah, it, it, to me this is fun, right? I, I understand why people would, would complain, though. I understand why this might not be exactly um, your style of gameplay when it comes to these kinds of things, but at the same time... We are in absolute chaos as Kislev, and I need every victory I can get, right? Um, and if, by victory here, I mean winning this with no casualties and just getting, uh, just getting, you know, the the most out of my units, basically. <laughs> that was a big miss there for the cavalry. All right, that should take out most of the orc boar boys and maybe even route them from the field. They're going to be bringing two new units in. Um, I will definitely try and use some of the Tsar Guard this battle because I haven't seen them fight yet. And I definitely would like to see how those guys fight. So, yeah. So, yeah, that does beautiful. How much damage did, uh, did she do? 10,000. Yeah. Yeah, good. Good, 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 good. Okay. Let's move in a tiny bit more. And we can actually move into here as well, I think. I'm not doing the best of jobs dodging this stuff, but... I'll be honest with you, I don't need to. Good damage. Loads of damage. Loads of good damage. Can we can we not hit them? Is, is that still okay? Move in some more, I guess. I thought you could fire over this, but apparently not. All right, let's get into the sort of. Uh, well, I think this is a garden of some description, but let's yeah, let's get into this garden, and we're going to start dodging some of the shots. And also, uh, this is a great opportunity to do another one of those. And then get out of there, but have all the archers focus fire on the stone trolls. Because I've managed to provoke them into coming out. And now I'm just going to drag them around a little bit. Yeah. That's it. Chase after my, my lord. That's... Good, yes. That's what I want you to do. Problem is, while I'm doing this, I'm kind of letting them run away from the arrows as well. Yeah. Let's do this hex thing, slow them down, they'll be easier to hit if they're slowed. They're not much slower, let me tell you. Okay, I mean, there goes most of my ammo taking out the stone trolls. I sort of really didn't expect this, but there you go. Yep, you can hit them. You can hit them, and you can uh... I'll fire on whoever you can see, basically. I... Not many targets for you. The rest of the units should be a lot easier to kill. These guys do regenerate, though, so I would love to dip away at their health a little bit more. I hit those guys in the back. I don't think that did any damage, but that's fine. Uh, these are the Orc Biggins. Um, 
And one of the better units. Alright. Trading HP here pretty much with the Lord from uh, the tower to get this done, but... Yeah. Okay, let's get the units that used up all their ammunition out of the... Out of the way. No, yeah, they can go that way. And that way is not a uh, good place to go. Oof. Do I even want to shoot these? I don't think I do anymore. I, I, mean, I don't know at this point. I will break them again, probably. Yeah. So and so, as they say. Okay, I can put these guys... Where can I put them? I can put these guys over here and get some shots over on the main body of the enemy army. I've killed... Ah, I've killed an alright amount. Certainly hope for more, but... This isn't terrible either. That's a good bit of damage there as well. And now, with these out of the way, I reckon I can... start moving the Zargard in. So, you can actually get out of the way now. Taking plenty of damage. Let's just do that also. So we can cut, in on their, cut down on their numbers a little bit. You should be able to hit them from there, right? Probably. Possibly probably, right? Question is, can I get to the supply point any other way? Yeah, pretty much no. All right, that's okay. Um, this this is a scene though. This is a scene and a half. We have the Zargard fighting against trolls. Armor-piercing trolls against armored units. Uh, not what I would call the ideal battle for Kislev, but tell you what, though. It's not the worst thing that could ever happen. Let's get the cavalry ready. Uh, let's move you in so we can cast another spell at the rear of the enemy. That will do a load of, a ton of damage. Actually, that, that should do like a metric ton of damage. Might as well cast this to slow them down, reduce leadership break the enemy sooner. The Zargard are the champions of holding the line. I challenge you to find me a better infantry unit that, that, that's good at holding the line, but this, this we have to see in its glorious cinematic mode. I mean, just look at that wall of ice heading towards our enemies. Is that not one of the most beautiful things we've done in the campaign so far? The Zargard are incredibly tough. I mean, I have no word for these folks. Look at them. Heavy armor, heavy shields, those nasty looking sabers. Um, and they're holding against a unit that realistically is good against them because it's armor piercing. And it's it's trolls. Um, yeah, I have, I have no words for this. This is epic. Okay. So... These guys are out of ammo. Let's use these three. Put them here. Let's use another one of these. And another one. Oof. That's the... Uh... Yeah, that'll do. That'll do, as they say. That will absolutely do. Um, incredible units are holding the front line. I mean, I knew about the Zargard. I never used them. I heard about them and, and how good they are. I fought against them multiple times. Um, playing as other different races. I fought against them playing as the Warriors of Chaos. Um, and I knew how tough they were to beat and how easily they swept aside my Marauders. Uh, and later down the line, how easily they held the line against Chosen. 
Um, and if they can hold the line against Chosen, some of the best infantry in the game, then you know you're dealing with a, with a proper tough unit. Yeah, mind you, they're not great at dishing out damage, I've, I'm noticing. Um, which isn't their job, that's fine. I don't need them to be the best damage dealers in the game. That's why we have these spells. Which, to be fair, don't do a lot of damage against trolls either. Um, this is where uh, a lot of archers would come in handy, but we've already used up on our, all our ammunition, um, defeating the enemy in a slightly different way. So, yeah, some of those arrows were wasted, not going to lie. Um, ammo capacity is something that we could definitely do with. Because... It's not exactly making the battle easy. Um, tell you what, I'm going to go and break this barricade with the winged lancers, open up the back, and try and hit those goblin archers. No, no, not, not from that direction, sorry. Yeah, not like so. All the archers can leave, though. I don't need them anymore. And let's just put this down like so, so we break the leadership of these units. That should be a problem with trolls, like relatively low leadership. Although they are fighting with their war boss right there, so I suppose that helps them out a little bit, but I seem to remember leadership being a bit of a problem for them. I'll just slow down to the biggie. Alright, um, the old Arch has been forced off the platform, they're going to head down, we're going to have a cool little battle against them soon, a charge with these guys. We maybe charge through, now. there's way too many of them, we can't charge through. Okay, is there no more magic? There is no more magic. Okay, you can go into the forest as well. Although the leadership and buff and stuff would help, but eh. No, 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 no. Break it down. Put the proper thing. I think this is a this is a good battle. This is from a viewership perspective, right? I think this is a good battle. It's a it's a nice little mix, isn't it? A nice little mix of doing a bit of both. You know, a bit of uh, Cheating the AI and, and abusing the situation, the, the, the fact that we're besieging them and stuff like that, and a little bit of it's raw combat in, in, the, in a classical Total War sense. But the winged lancers really kind of disappoint me, honestly. I get that the main usage you get out of them is charging at enemies rather than, uh, you know, holding the line and fighting like this, but there's still, there's so many cavalry units in the game that are just good at melting infantry when they actually meet them in, in direct combat. Um, the, the wing lancers feel a bit tame. Probably the bears would be a lot better. I mean, statistically, they should be several times better than, than this. Yeah, these guys aren't going anywhere. Doesn't out there, um... They're all right when it comes to holding the line. They're all right. They're probably the best when it comes to holding the line. Breaking through the line, though, not really. Kind of a World War One strategy unit. Okay, let's see if I can uh, charge in that. Charge at that uh, platform again. Try and break it. If we can surround these forces from fight them from both ends. That'd be lovely. But I think I'd rather cap the supply point and get rid of. Uh, the tower, because that's going to do... And that's probably doing most of the damage to the Zargard over here. And it is almost broken. Where are you going? What, why did you... How did you forget your orders? I told you to, to break down the, the barricade. It's not exactly something that's easily forgettable. There's, there's a lot of enemy troops left to kill. Um, granted, some of them are just the Orc Boys and stuff like that, so it's not really a difficult mission. But 
we are losing a lot of men. I mean, this too, there's like 70 or or orc goblins there, and okay, I guess fair enough, they are fighting the uh, orc boys too, but I sort of expected this to break and, and to not really be a problem a while ago, and I'm sorry to say, it's still a bit of a problem, um, you know. Trolls are finally wavering. I mean, I understand I'm. I understand the AI gets some buffs when it comes to leadership and stuff, but this is a bit. a bit much, if I can say so. We've routed some of these trolls multiple times already. I think that's. some of them will probably break permanently. Remember, if you route a unit three times from the battle, they break permanently and not be. Um, reclaimed? Oh, yeah, I guess we're, uh, not reclaimed, um, what, what, what would you call that? Rallied, right? Yeah, they cannot be rallied again. Basically, you can't take control over, uh, take control of them, um, after that, they just escape from the field. Alright, good, we've done something. Now, uh, I guess get off, go after the, the goblin wolf riders. They're a relatively soft target, you can... Hit those really quickly, and uh, hopefully in doing so surround a lot of this army, though you yourselves are going to be surrounded too, but... I don't see... I, I don't... Uh, here's the thing, right? Um, these units somehow have full ammo after fight firing for the entirety of the battle. Meanwhile, my Cossars ran out of ammo after like three or four volleys. Um, not literally, I'm over-exaggerating, but you get the point. Um, these guys are, are gone, basically I need to just pull them out and save as many as I can, because this is, uh, this isn't really going to work out, although... I mean, they can't kill a unit of goblin ar archers. 70 goblin archers left, they can't kill this unit. I've, I've charged it, like, 18 times, and they, they can't kill it. Um... This is what happens when you attack this, the goblin archers get, get into a line formation here, and so you can see some of them are here, but yeah. Anyways, that didn't work, so I need to pull these guys back all the way. I just have the Zargard left. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna have to start sending archers after uh, the, the enemy. I've used up all my magic, I've done 37,000 damage with magics with this lord. And I'm very happy that I did that that amount of damage. It's it's great, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, a part of me feels like this battle should have been over and I should have done a lot more damage to the enemy a couple of hours ago, and yet I haven't. So what I'm going to start doing now is I'm going to start sending the archers over to do melee combat against the orcs. Because it's gotten to that point, right? It, it really has. I'm going to keep these guys here just to attract some of the, the, the arrows from the arrow boys, but... Again, just on its own, the fact that they're still shooting is just beyond me. But, uh, there's way too many, there's way too many enemies, is, is the problem here. There's just way too many. Um, and I'll be honest with you, I understand that we're probably going to win because of army losses. Um, basically we're going to take out a significant enough portion of the enemy force that they're going to give up. Were they unbreakable? Um, or were they less breakable, shall we say? This wouldn't happen. I wouldn't be able to do this. With a, with a more stubborn enemy, with more stubborn enemy resistance, they just wouldn't break. If these guys didn't break, I would lose the battle. Like, it's a question of morale now. I'm going to break them with, with just superior morale, because... I'm not losing the archers, and I'm not losing my own men, but were I indeed to lose a large chunk of my army, the battle were to become all of a sudden a little bit more equal, um, I don't think I, I could win this. I really don't. So, um, yeah, I mean, make of that what you will, but orcs are a difficult enemy. And this is just a small garrison. Imagine if we had to fight Azag with this army alone. Because Azag is not just 20 units, it's not a 20 unit stack, it's a 40 unit stack. 
Because again, the AI gets tons of cheats when it comes to WAS. All kinds of bonuses and stuff. So, at the end of the day, I'm not displeased with the results. I mean, these guys are around half HP. These guys are a bit uh, wounded and, and it'll take some time to replenish. The Lords replenish health pretty quickly. I'm, I'm okay with the battle ending here like this. I'm, I don't, I'm not displeased with it. It's more so the fact that I'm having to go through so much trouble to fight off an enemy which, let's just say other factions with the same amount of units as Garrison would have crumbled like long, long, long ago. And yeah, I suppose capping supply points will give me a bit of a, will give me a bit more momentum and so on and so forth, fair enough, but at the end of the day, I can't break these guys. And I'm having to sacrifice melee units, or I'm having to sacrifice ranged units as melee just to keep them fighting, basically. Keep up the fight and keep going. Um, if I was just doing this from the start, I'd be happy with this, but I used up all the ammunition, I used up all the magic. And there was an okay bit of it, and there wasn't too much, but there was an okay bit of magic as well. Look at that. They broke, but this is what I'm saying, like, if they stayed to fight, there's a full unit of Orc Arrows over there. Half a unit of Arrows over there, and with full ammo too, I mean, the granted, okay, they don't really waste ammo anymore, because it's very difficult for them to, to waste ammo, they have about four times as much as the player, I think, but it's... Still, if they didn't break, I don't know if I could win this. And this hasn't been the case with other races, so this is what I'm saying, like, Orcs are tough. Orcs are very tough, like, it's a 30 minute video and we barely got off a victory. Yeah, um, at the end of the day, you take a look at the losses, um, apart from the Wing Lancers, this is terrific. Sure, game says Pyrrhic victory because I wasted all the, um, I wasted, I lost all the ammo, I used it up. Um, and all the Winds of Magic, so it'll tell you Pyrrhic victory because it'll count that as, as, as losses, but it's a good victory at the end of the day. At the same time, it's really not compared to the type of battles we had thus far, and it's getting, it's making me nervous, basically. Um, I think a Zinch Garrison would have been easier with a whole bunch of big horrors. And that's saying quite a bit, I think. But, whatever the case may be, um... This army isn't the strongest when it comes to the Lord. It's not the mightiest when it comes to the units either. Ice Guard are a lot better, and uh, obviously we don't have firing drills. We don't have uh, buffs for the melee units and stuff. It's still early on in this army's life cycle. So, you know, to keep that in mind. But again, like I said... Get this hero out of here. Give you scouting. And I'm going to send you towards this army, I think. Because this army doesn't have a... Yeah, it doesn't have a Frost Maiden. Now, I can recruit one. Or rather, I can't because I'm at capacity, but yeah. All right. Zargard unit upkeep. Uh... Terrifying Mask of E, Athena Informant, okay, Veteran Warrior is pretty standard, and we kill them in battle, and the River Tobol has been unified as a province. Good, 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 good. So, now we can get uh, more income from markets, beautiful, we can get a Farm Estate probably, yeah, sure we can get a Farm Estate. The bluest of blood. And we're going to replenish all our troops next turn. It's it's just a beauty, isn't it? Ataman decision to be made, I think. Or no, an Ataman to be assigned. Lovely. Where shall we assign one? First of all, who should we assign? I think we're going to assign... Igor Mikhailev, Mikhailev, it's not Mikhailev, it's Mikhailev, right. 
Igor Mikhaev um, to the river, to the Sturin Ridge. To the river Tobol, to the Sturin Ridge. To the Sturin Ridge, yes. Three provinces in both places. This one's a little bit more developed. Yeah, okay. Happy with that. Some more building upgrades. Sure, we need to keep uh, that economy growing. Invest all our money into that. And eventually I'll invest into Kislev Capital um, to get all these buildings up to tier 5. But as you can see, this takes a ludicrous amount of money. And I have a plan to how to get that money, though. So just uh, bear that in mind, please. All right, next turn. I think we're pretty much done with everything else. I forgot about you. That's okay. Is Korn going to declare war on me? Probably. They've declared war on me directly. Okay. The Great Orthodoxy refused to join. Okay. Somehow figured that would happen. We figured that we would lose this place. They do the same thing. They sack and then they occupy. That's... Yeah, okay, I mean, if that's what you want to do, you usually you wait a turn, right? You sack and then you wait a turn. This guy's a bit confused, doesn't really know what he's doing. outpost because we're no longer allies that ready to war I return Winds of pain, raiding. Why are we taking attrition? I seek experience. Warm your hearts with Urson's breath. What what recent event was I not told what recent event? Winds of pain. Is it the Winds of Pain event and now everyone's taking attrition? No. Okay. Uh, I want to take that down first because they're recruiting. I want to stop them from doing that. And then you keep marching down here. I mean, this was my go-to army. I really can't have it lose everything to attrition. I, I really can't. There is no alternative. The ice calls. Attrition losses due to a recent event. What recent event? Pain raiding, confederation, settlement sacked, settlement lost, ally loses outpost. Ally losing outpost, is that it? I mean, I know it's not that, that doesn't happen, but what else is, is kind of what I'm getting at. I 
Frost. Okay, fine. Delays everything I want to do for another turn. Or several, I don't know how long they're going to be having that issue. Um, I need to cancel this building, which I wanted to... Yeah, I need to cancel this. Bit expensive, no? I do this for Kislev. Assassinate. I mean, okay. Um, I guess. I, I, I don't know what to say. Historically, I've had the worst luck when it comes to stuff like that, so... Don't expect much when I do stuff like that, but... And I'm hoping against hope most of the time. Okay, next turn. In comes Scarbrand. Ooh, are you gonna find me? I'm gonna retreat. See if you can catch up to me. No, no you can't. No, you're both on, on Force March, and I think I can... Mm, I don't know. I'm gonna have to see. Wait a minute! No. No, no, it's not that. It can't be that. Definitely can't be that, right? I was thinking, maybe it's a bug with the attrition, because I've invoked the Urson thing. Mutagenic energies. The kinetic forces of our master never remain still. See for yourself. Enables attrition for this army, regardless of immunities. It is my duty. Witch of the ice. For three turns. My decision is law. And the Scarbrand. It's an experienced army. I don't know. Um, I don't know how we got that. I genuinely don't. But it's okay. It's okay because I'm about to start hitting back. With all my respect, F you. And there you go. Mine now. Uh, this army's too small to cause trouble. And next time we, we head straight towards Erengrad. Um, I guess Catherine's army is going to have to join the fray up north, I, I suppose. I mean, I, yeah, definitely not south, so there you go. And I can't really afford another army. But I have to. I'm not going to have money to recruit them, I think. But... What the hell, man? I don't have much of a choice. Lord recruitment cost on you. You know what, that's okay. Currently, that's kind of exactly what I need. Let's go with Zargard Greatswords. They have a lot less melee defense, but they have a lot of melee defense to begin with. Six of those. And... A Griffin Legion, maybe. I'm expecting a lot from these winged lancers, but they're only tier 2. And the Zargard is tier, is tier 3, so maybe that was my mistake. But let's go with Ice Guards. Uh, with swords, and... Now I'm going to save up the rest of the money, I think. As far as this is concerned, maybe I declare war, maybe, declare war. maybe I fight these guys and then run from Scarbrand. 
because he is taking attrition into combat trials. Ah. Okay. I'm about to get a big bonus for leadership and speed. The Rodina thing. Motherland, yes. you, you, you get the connection there. Orson's disciple. Nothing in the way of confederations, yes. nothing in the way of non-aggression pacts. Fine. Um, income's not great, but it's not terrible. and It'll get better as we take over these provinces. So, we have another army to go that way. One we've completely lost because of um, a, a weird event, which I've never seen and I haven't seen it explained anywhere and I didn't get a pop-up for it. I don't know where it came from. <clears throat> so, yeah. That's fun. But other than that glaring issue, um, we have this problem to deal with and we have a good army. We have a relatively good army. It's not the best to fight against a really good Pink Horrors army. Chaos Furies and all. However, they don't have a good frontline force. And so maybe the answer is to just bum rush them. Use the cavalry, use all of this, use the hero units and just rush everything and, and try and beat them like that. The problem is I'm going to have to fight Scarbrand as well and there's nobody that wants to peace out with me right now. Not even the Bone Rattlers who uh, are about to... Well, I'm not just saying I'm about to kick their ass a little bit, but yeah, they're not going to accept PC either. Anyways, um, let's cut it here. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Like, subscribe, down if you enjoyed the video. We'll stay tuned with the rest of the series. And if you want to support the channel directly, there are options in the description for my Patreon and um, channel memberships. That is it for now. I will see you all next time. Until then, have fun, take care, and bye-bye.